Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Right now I'm just purging the evil spirits out from my fridge so my food can last longer. And we're getting right into the haul now. So I have four almond milks in my fridge already, six bags of salmon, and like six bags of random fruit. I got a bunch of chicken and vegetables because I was like, oh, I'm gonna meal prep and then it just didn't happen. But we got greens, snow peas, we got some vegetable, carrot greens, and corn. We got some potato bread. Hell yeah. That's the best kind of bread, I'm telling you. Um, and we got these knockoff Hawaiian rolls, but I mean, look at this shit. It says, um, yeasty? What the hell does that even mean, bro? Like, honestly, the fuck? Anyways, um, I got three bundles of asparagus. Knock that shit over. Just because... Now my pee is going to smell like um, horse pee for four months. Um, and back here in this bag, I just have some broccoli florets, you know. I, I usually speak really eloquently, so, you know, florets is really eloquent. Anyways, here's some large white eggs. We don't F with small white eggs around here, okay? Some spices, some thyme, basil, parsley. Um, got two bags of yellow potatoes. And check this shit out. I literally bought seven bags of sweet potatoes. And I took this video about a month ago. I haven't finished one. Um, but I have two bags of red potatoes also because, um, yeah, that's just horrible. Anyways, I got a bunch of shrimp, some unsweetened almond milk. We don't F with sweet stuff around here, okay? We got some pomegranate juice, super good for you. Antioxidant superpower, obviously, as you can see. We only F with sweet juice, okay? I take that back. We F with sweet juice, and here we have the whole aisle. Anyways, now we have some rice, four bags of it, because we're trying to make it through the apocalypse, this grocery haul, okay? Obviously, that's why we have 40 bags of avocados, so we can plant 40 avocado trees so we can survive the apocalypse. We also have 400 uh, cloves of garlic. And here you can see that I had made myself lunch, and it was salmon, rice, um, vegetables, which I'm showing you right now which ones I used. It was uh, called a vegetable medley, and it had broccoli, cauliflower, and carrots. Pretty good, actually. Um, just fried it up in a pan with some salmon, made some rice, and I cut up a whole avocado and put it on the side. It was really good, actually. Um, so don't let people tell you, oh, you can't eat healthy, it doesn't taste good, or you won't enjoy it, or whatever. It was good, and healthy food is good for you and can taste good, so I highly recommend trying this if you want. Um, I just made some for my boyfriend here, and here's a spice that I'm deciding to show you for whatever reason. Um, but yeah, this was a really good meal, and I would definitely make it again. It was um, very filling too, like I didn't need a second serving of anything. Um, so yeah. Oh, my back freaking hurts. Just cracked my back. Hell yeah. Okay. Hi you guys. Welcome to my channel. Um, well, I guess this is the end of my video, so it's kind of out of place. But anyways, um, I just want to say I thank you so much for you watched to the end um in the beginning i included photos of um like before and after photos and i wanted to clarify that the like pictures that don't have a date have been taken or the pictures or videos that don't have like a date on it like um that i wrote out they have been taken this year so the year of 2020 so just this past month in january um today is february 7th um, so the after videos are really recent. Um, so, and I just wanted to say a little bit about my fitness journey. Um, so I've kind of been doing it on and off for the past like five years, I would say. And only in the past three years did I get really serious about it. And by really serious, I mean like I was every day making some type of effort to, um, work out so um it started with like the first year like 2017 you know trying to work out and then it ventured into working out and 
getting my diet right because for that first year in 2017 it was just like working out not really knowing what to do like i would go for runs or i would go for walks or i would do yoga or i wasn't really sure how to go about getting the physique that i wanted um and i was 17 in 2017 um, it's 2020 and I'm 20, so um, at 17 years old I was like really insecure and I didn't really like how my body looked, I didn't like how I felt about myself, so I was just like, okay, I'm gonna change it. And so in 2018, I really started to buckle down, I really started to um, do more research about like macros, uh, like I started to understand what omega fats were, and I started to really get into the more um, educational side of it. I started to um, study like muscle groups, like the glutes mainly, which was what I really focus on. Um, you know, biceps, triceps, started learning, you know, and through all this knowledge about like learning about the muscle groups in my body and um, about food, I think in 2018 or 20, not, 2018 is when I cut out dairy pretty much, like I didn't drink any milk or, you know, I tried to avoid stuff that had dairy, no cheese, you know, not like cottage cheese. I even avoid yogurt usually because um, dairy just really bloats you and I don't believe it's good for you. Um, there's research behind that too. I can get more into that in a different video, but... <laughs> Jesus. Okay, bless me. But anyways, um, yeah, so I just wanted to say that um, these past three years I've been trying to be really consistent and in 2019 I really kind of buckled down. Like I had on and off months, so like um, me and my boyfriend would go out and eat for like a whole month and then I would get back into it, but mostly I have been pretty consistent. Um, life happens, you know, things go, you know, things can be, you know, not planned or you can be like unorganized about stuff, but, you know, really try to stay consistent. As long as you always come back and try again and are doing what you said you're going to try, because there's more than just saying that you're going to try to do it, you know, you have to be like, okay, I'm going to do it. You can be like, okay, so tomorrow I'm going to go to the gym at 3 p.m., right? And so tomorrow comes 3 p.m. there. And I could be like, well, I got up, I tried. Or I could get up and I could go and do it. And then I could say I did it instead of, you know, I tried and I didn't get anything out of it. So it's all about changing your mindset, you know, learning about yourself. I learned dairy wasn't good for me. I learned what muscle groups to work on and what exercises target which muscle group. And um, so, yeah, it's 2020. It's a new year. Let's get focused let's stay consistent and yeah let's keep i'm gonna keep uploading videos for you guys um and let's try to stay really positive okay stay positive stay consistent stay committed and stay authentic okay love you guys bye